This is the daily video update for Thursday, October 29th, 2020. For the Unitarian Church of Lincoln, I'm the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. When I was 25 years old, I was di diagnosed with nodular lymphocyte predominant Hodgkin's lymphoma. Shortly before that diagnosis, the Affordable Care Act had passed through Congress. It was in the process of being implemented when I was diagnosed. So in the years post-diagnosis, three things happened. First, I got onto my parents' health insurance to supplement my own. Second, with a lower out-of-pocket maximum that was part of that bill, I did not have to worry about my chemotherapy treatments bankrupting either me or my family. And third, when I left my job to go to seminary, I was able to get health insurance on the ACA exchanges without worrying about my recent cancer diagnosis counting as a pre-existing condition. And without those three things, my life over the last decade would look a lot different. Freedom is both a, a political and a religious ideal. So here's as plain as I can put it. Not having to worry about whether or not I could afford health insurance gave me the freedom to follow this particularly religious calling that I'm in. Were it not for the Affordable Care Act, my freedom to choose the career that I am most suited to would have been limited to how do I make sure that I stay insured and insurable? And I'm not the only person with a story like that. Healthcare is one of the largest expenses for most people and families in this country. And it's also one of the least elastic expenses, meaning it doesn't respond well to context. Consumer spending is an elastic expense, right? You can delay getting a new car for a little bit if you need to for financial reasons, but you cannot delay getting heart surgery. And so as long as that's not the case, it's simply not moral to treat heart surgery and buying a car as the same thing economically. Unitarian Universalism comes out of the, the liberal theological tradition, and, and that's, as we've talked about before, and we'll do it again, liberal theology is distinct from liberal, um, liberal theology is different than liberal um, political theory, but both hold freedom as central. And it's because we hold freedom as central that healthcare is a human right to allow freedom to follow careers, callings, life paths unconstrained by a health insurance market. Tomorrow we'll continue this series picking up uh, the issue of immigration.